Welcome back to Take Apart. Today I will test these three popular yet dirty radios for spurious RF emissions. Here on left, Quan Sheng UVK5, probably the most gangster of these. Next, Baofeng UV5R, the 2024 version with airband. And this Baofeng UV5 RH, I'm using Tiny SA Ultra that came from eleshop.eu. It is one of the few authorized resellers of Tiny SA devices. ELEshop.eu has everything you will ever need from hobby to full blown professional equipment. They are shipping worldwide, so make sure to check them out. And also use coupon code TAKEAPART5 at checkout to get 5% discount on selected devices. So once again, ELEshop.eu and coupon code TAKEAPART5. First link in description below. The Tiny SA Ultra is amazing pocket size spectrum analyzer, but for this job, is attenuator necessary? This is 40 dB attenuator with Type N connectors, so this Type N to SMA adapter is also handy, along with this quality cable with Type N and SMA connectors. All this came from eleshop.eu as well. Let's start and turn on Tiny SA Ultra for the first time. We will need to do calibration, so menu, config, level cal and first option. But I'll attach new cables and adapters to the SMA ports. I always calibrating the cables I'll use in my tests. In this case I'll have to use this SMA male to male joiner in order to connect to two tiny SA ultra connectors. Just like so. Let's begin calibration process. It took roughly 80 seconds to finish and it's automatic and all went great. You should subscribe or comment below what you think of this spectrum analyzer. Once calibration done, I can remove SMA joiner and attach attenuator in the loop. For measuring spurious RF emissions, we have to set couple of things. Menu, config, more and here enable ultra. This requires code for some reason. So the code is 4321 and hit enter. Now we have range up to 3 GHz. Menu, back, back, measure and here harmonics. I'll transmit on 160 M S MHz. Use full span so 0 and hit times 1. Menu, marker and here I'll choose 8 markers. Here we go, they just appeared. All 8 of them. Now time for Baofeng UV5R and let's transmit on 160 MHz. Hmm, I'll have to set 40 decibel attenuator. Menu, level, external gain and here negative 40 times 1. That's my 40 dB attenuator. So once again transmitting on 160 megahertz and here we go tiny SA ultra picked up two extra radio signals coming out of this radio main one is on 160 megahertz second on 320 megahertz negative 29 dBm lower and third signal is on 481 megahertz and on negative 30.9 dBm lower. So this radio is not good as spurious emissions has to be apparently at least 40 dB lower than primary signal. Next radio is Baofeng UV5RH. This is most powerful of these three radios. So let's see how clean is its signal. Transmitting on 160 megahertz at full power and oh boy here we have three extra signals picked up and neither of them is lower than 40 dBm from primary signal second is on 320 megahertz at negative 11 dBm third on 481 megahertz at negative 7 dBm it is actually stronger than second signal and fourth signal on 640 megahertz at negative 26 dB 
BBNs. This renders radio dirty, as its spurs are way stronger than required. And last in queue is Quensheng UVK5. This is my favorite radio. Let's see how clean or dirty it actually is. Oh shite, Tiny SA Ultra packed up extra 7 spurs signals coming out of this radio. Um, yeah, second on 320 MHz at negative 14 dBm, third 481 at negative 20 dBm lower, fourth on 640 MHz at negative 34 dBm, fifth 719 MHz at negative 34 dBm, sixth on 950 8 megahertz at negative 25 dBms, 7th at 1.1 gigahertz at negative 27 dBm, and last 8 on 1.28 gigahertz at negative 35 dBm. Lower from primary signal. All of these are over the limit of negative 40 dBm. So ladies and gents, this is the dirtiest radio of my test. Check out eleshop.eu. Links are in description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.